Sophia and I are both from cities where um, there's a municipal composting system, so we've kind of grown up with that as a pretty normal, like, day-to-day -day thing. So when we got here as freshmen, it was like, where do we put our apple cores? We wanted to find a way um, to bring composting and environmental sustainability to campus. So our project is a composting initiative to work on reducing the amount of food waste in GLAR. Uh, we're working to also promote the knowledge um, among students that you can compost to reduce your waste and to reduce your environmental impact. And then we hope to also provide finished compost to uh, the community garden and to Westminster community in general. The GZ really allowed us to like have a trial program to see like how it would work on a small scale so that we could then build it up, to hopefully eventually to a large scale. If we were able to expand this project, it would even make sense um, fiscally because you know we pay to have our waste taken away and we pay to get compost back. And by producing compost with our own waste on campus, we would be able to make that process a lot simpler. A lot of people are really excited about this kind of thing, that they want to reduce their environmental impact in such a small but meaningful way. Over spring break, a group of friends and I decided, um, instead of going home for spring break, to uh, participate in the alternative break program. We spent the week uh, volunteering at various organizations that focus on helping victims of sexual abuse and domestic violence. One of our, our main activities was creating hygiene bags for uh, Rape Crisis Intervention Center and we did them to support uh, the victims that have to go through the testing after rape. Other activities that we did was uh, visit different shelters. We also talked to people who work uh, with these organizations on the shelters and we kind of got an idea of how they work and what goes behind them and how they're organized, how they're managed. Winning the award gave us the opportunity to actually travel to some of the locations. It makes more of an impact when you go and visit the place, when you go and see how things work on the place. Change starts at the community level by giving back, by lending a hand, and just by um, being a community-minded person, that is how we make the world a better place. So my project is called the Coolmore Leadership Program, and it's basically a week-long program aimed to raise awareness about gang violence, drug violence, and physical abuse. The students are going to be able to build leadership skills through programs that I have designed. I think that when students are in third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade, and going into sixth grade, that they're undergoing some sort of transformation in their lives and if they see mentors and young people helping them out that they're going to be inspired to want to be activists in their community and not get involved with gangs, violence, stuff like that. My passion was inspired by um, my high school. I saw a lot of kids who always got in trouble. That's something that I looked at and was like something needs to change, someone needs to do something. So I think that having received this award is going to help my community immensely and I'll be able to make the impact that I want to make and hopefully continue it for the next four years or who knows, I could make it an even bigger project in the future.